Alright guys, so so far in this Ultra RC video, you've seen what this fire truck can do, and now I'm going to show you what's inside. So let's crack right into it. So, there's a lot happening under here, as you can see, and I thought I'd just go through briefly what I've done to make this thing so awesome. So if you're interested in that, this is the part of the video that's for you. So, we've got two 3-cell LiPo batteries here that power the two brushed speed controllers under there, and the two brushed speed controllers spin the two brush motors here. They have a little gearbox and go 90 degrees with the shaft into the wheel, direct drive into these two old SEX10 wheels here. So it's front wheel drive and it's rear wheel steering. So we've got my old SEX10 axle here and we've got two wheels on there with the bottom servo being for the steering. We've got the next servo here which is for the pan so we can move the actual squirting water around and the tilt is the top servo so we've got three servos on top of each other there. We've got the coke can which is the water supply for the pump and that's just 375 milliliters, so it's not very much, but it can always put out a fire about the size that you saw in the previous video. We've got a battery checker there for the battery, a little two cell battery that powers the pump, because that goes out pretty quickly, so that's just to make sure, and you know, adds, adds a little display panel on the pump and things. So we've got the front of this body here, which is a Tonka truck. I've just put a little driver inside with a blue light shining in the interior, and besides that, it's just the front shell of a Tonka truck. You can see here that I've made this bracket for the two motors out of just aluminium sh um, strip. I suppose I've bent it into shape and just bolted that on there nice and strongly. So on the front here we have got a receiver battery, just four double A's that powers a little of a, um, basically just the lights, but I've used a receiver there as a little connection for it, which is pretty cool. So the actual pump, which is kind of the important part and why I built this whole thing, is I had this thing and I was like, well, let's just use this. So here it is. It is a... Uh, Skywriter. So in other words, it is a smoke system for a plane, but it works fine for this as well, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, so as far as the light goes, the six lights, two red, one blue here, one blue there, and two white on the front. And I'm actually really impressed with how this thing works. I hope you are too. If you like this awesome Ultra RC video, give it a thumbs up, that super helps. Subscribe for more. Otherwise, comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think about this thing, if you've got any ideas of how to improve it. But otherwise, I'll see you around later, and thanks for watching this awesome Ultra RC video. How cool is that? That's that was great. It like puts it out completely. It just like.